morning. This hearing of the Subcommittee on the Constitution, Civil Rights, and Civil Liberties will come to order. Today's hearing will continue the Subcommittee's oversight of the Civil, Div Civil Rights Division of the Department of Justice. Today, the Subcommittee will... The right to vote is the bulwark of our other rights. Without an effective franchise, all other rights are vulnerable. For that reason, our nation's history has been one of fulfilling the promise of our Declaration of Independence and our Constitution by progressively extending the right to vote to all citizens. That struggle has taken generations. But the struggle to ensure that the legal right to vote translates into an actual right to cast a ballot and have it counted remains unfinished. Congress has responded over the years with the enactment of laws to protect the right to vote, the most, most recently with the bipartisan reauthorization of the Voting Rights Act. The hearings we held on the Voting Rights Act demonstrated the continuing need for its protection for voters, especially minority voters and voters with limited English proficiency. I take the Voting Rights Act very seriously. The two counties I represent, or parts of which I represent, are in New York City, are both covered jurisdictions under the preclearance provisions of Section 5. We came by that distinction honestly through past misconduct, and I think you will find that most New Yorkers support the continued enforcement of the Act. Today we examine the voting section of the Department's Civil Rights Division. The voting section provides the teeth behind the words of the statute, or at least is supposed to. If the law is not to have any real meaning, the voting section must be a tireless advocate for the right to vote without fear or favor or without the intrusion of partisan political meddling. We have received numerous reports over the years that the section is not living up to its mandate and that politics has, as is the case with other parts of the Justice Department, intruded into the, into the decision-making process, sometimes at the expense of the voting rights of the very people the law was intended to protect. In cases involving the Georgia ID statute, or the preclearance of redistricting plans in Texas and other jurisdictions, there have been allegations, and I have serious concerns, that the work of the section was swayed by political considerations. We need to get to the bottom of these allegations. The work of the voting section is too important to let these hang in the air. I am also concerned about some comments that Mr. Tanner has made recently about minority voters, which demonstrate to me at best a lack of understanding of the mission uh, with which the section is entrusted. These comments call into question the fitness to head the the section. I look forward to the testimony of distinguished witnesses. I yield back the balance of my time. I would now recognize our distinguished ranking minority member, the gentleman from Arizona, Mr. Franks, for his opening statement. Well, thank